Good morning. It's 7.20 in the morning for me. I just keep going to bed earlier and earlier every night and that makes me wake up earlier and earlier every day. So, yeah, I'm kind of giving off grandma vibes. So let's go downstairs. Also, thank you Crocs for sponsoring this video. You know, sometimes I wish I was just one of my cats because I know that neither of them have IBS. I know neither of them have stomach pain. It's coffee time, but it's a cold brew day. I don't have the energy to do the whole espresso machine thing. For starters, chamberlaincoffee.com. Straw, chamberlaincoffee.com. This is a new advancement. It is oat creamer. I usually use almond coconut creamer. Anyway, let's talk. Like, what am I doing today, etc. I have two interviews today. I don't know why I have interviews all the time. And that's about it, so. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna make my lunch now. So it's obviously like 7.30 in the morning, but I'm gonna make my lunch now so that I don't have to cook later. We never cook this early in the morning, but I really am inspired to make these. Guess what I'm making? Spring rolls. I made them for the first time yesterday, and let me tell you, they turned out like shit appearance-wise, but they tasted so good. So I'm gonna show you how I make them. Okay, so first step, I'm getting a plate and filling it with water. Here's the cutting board. And now I'm gonna get out all the toppings. There's a lot of toppings, okay. We have some tempeh, which I have actually showed a recipe to that before. We have some avocado, okay. We have some bell pepper, cabbage, which this is pretty much the only time I'll eat cabbage because I kind of hate it otherwise, and mint. This knife is dirty, but I just used it for doing this yesterday, so I feel like it's acceptable. The moment of truth. Oh, <gasps> she's gorgeous. Okay, so I've been trying to find new ways to cut avocado that's like more like efficient. And let's try out a way that I saw on TikTok. So you slice it like this and then you peel it. Oh, that was kind of amazing. And then you can thinly slice it like this. Okay, let, maybe we don't thinly slice it with me around. Although I feel like, wait, it's kind of just more convenient to go like this and slice it like this, and then just fucking take a spoon. Oh my God, that's so much easier. Okay, sorry, that was not a hack, actually. That just makes it more complicated. Mint. So the thing about spring rolls is I used to love them growing up so much. And I remember there was always like a, something in it that made it so unique. And I figured out after looking at a bunch of recipes that it's mint. And I never realized that they had put mint in it. And then I was like, OMG, I can't make these without the mint. So now here we are and I'm using mint. Laying out my cabbage. I literally hate cabbage, like I don't like it. Some bell pepper. These spring rolls, you have to act fast. That's all I'm saying. You take it. I'm still not good at this. Like do not expect a lot from me here right now. Put it in the water. Putting it in the water makes it sticky. Then we're gonna add a few pieces of tempeh, a few pieces of avocado. Then we're gonna add some mint. Too much. Then we're gonna add some bell pepper, and we're gonna add some cabbage. This is a lot of toppings, but I think we can make it happen. Now you're gonna roll it and put pull on the sides. Wait, this might be my best one yet. And fuck, it busted open. It may have broke, but I'll still eat it later. Cause there's no need to waste. Let's try again. I'm not gonna get discouraged. Okay, see, this one might be better because I soaked it for a little bit longer. <sighs> I'm stressed. I already know what's gonna like what's gonna happen when I try to roll this up right now. Ah, that was better. Wow, that was better. It still looks like shit, but oh my God, it's like un, oh, why is this happening? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I shouldn't have done this so early in the morning because I am getting actively frustrated. Oh wait, it worked. Maybe I try to re-roll this one. No, this one's like too far gone. This one is a little bit too far gone. Got it, but we're still gonna eat it because you don't waste. I'll make one more. I don't know how they make them so perfect at the fucking restaurants. I'm just trying to make this look relatively okay at this point. When I was watching YouTube videos, people were like, oh, like, you know, you can have fun with the design of it and like more concerned about like how it looked. I'm like, no, I just want it to like look relatively okay. Talk about a well-deserved lunch though. Ah. That was good, that was not bad. This one is upsetting me. Like this one genuinely hurts my feet. Like it looks so bad. Now let's make the sauce. The key to every good sauce is peanut butter. Peanut butter is like the one food that I could just eat. Mm. Sriracha, just eyeballing all of it. Soy sauce, eyeballing it. A Little bit of sesame oil, 
eyeballing rice it. Rice vinegar. Eyeballing maybe it. Maybe a little bit of ginger. Eyeballing it. I think that's all I added. See, this is exciting, right? It's almost like I packed myself a lunch for school. Here's my peanut sauce. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Listen, they're very gorgeous to me. Listen, they're gorgeous. Oh, I have peanut butter on my hand. Not poopy, I swear that's not dookie. I'm gonna eat them. I'm gonna love them. And it's at the end of the day, it's all about me anyway, so. Time for our special sponsor today, Crocs. Thank you to Crocs for sponsoring today's video. I'm excited about this. Crocs are like the best shoe for when you wanna walk around, be comfy, and live your best life. I mean, come on. I've been like a Croc wearer since I was a child. You can say what you want about them, they're just, Timeless. Croc's motto is to come as you are, which I love because I agree. Be comfy in your own shoes. Now let me present to you the platform Crocs. Are you kidding me? This one has a charcuterie board. Jimmy! There's a charcuterie board one! Can you believe it? The platforms are like a sleek, elevated version of the classic, and they have all of the benefits of a classic. They're still waterproof, still light, still comfortable. Wearing these around tells everybody that I love charcuterie boards. I am a YouTuber. I love coffee and have a coffee company. My name starts with an E. This one says, sometimes I'm a little bit Scary when I'm maybe on my period. They have the classic Crocs, which are amazing. You can customize them with these little gibbets. This one literally says hashtag ad. Are you kidding me? It's like they know that I'm a YouTuber. They're light, they're comfortable. They come in a bunch of different colors. They're a classic. They're also easy to clean and dry. So if you're like out and about and it's like raining, these are gonna be completely fine. The rest of your outfit, I don't know, but these will be fine. They also have the slides, which are unbelievable. They're still customizable. They still come in a bunch of different colors. You can add the gibbets. They're perfect for the beach, for running errands, for walking around the house. Anyway, I love Crocs. I've been wearing them for years and they're just like iconic. You can check out Crocs and gibbets at your local Croc store or online at crocs.com. And back to the video. Look at this one. This one's like Coachella themed. Is that, okay, I'm done. I'm done. I haven't learned a new drum beat in like three weeks because I've been a little bit too depressed to work on my hobbies. Yeah. So every time I take a break from playing drums and I come back, like I low key sound better. So. Whatever, I don't care. Once my brain uh, likes me a little bit more, I will learn more drum beats. Until then, I will play the same ones over and over again. It's 8.20. Um, I already made my coffee. Like, I don't know. What else do I do? I fed the cats. I have um, two hours until my first interview. I'm not gonna shower, although I'm quite dirty. Not in the mood to work out, so I'm not gonna do that. You guys know what that means. I have not moved. Time for my interview. Luckily, I don't have to show my face on the Zoom. I can have my camera off. That's awesome because I look like shit. Hi. <laughs> What's up, everyone? I think I'm gonna make the premise of this video. 24 hours in my house challenge. I didn't leave once. Unless I decide to leave, but I don't see that happening. I'm ready for brunch. Let's try our beautiful spring rolls. Cute little spring rolls. I'm gonna eat the one that's falling apart the most first, because I just want to get it out of my life, to be honest. Mm. It tastes so good. It might not look the cutest, but like I snapped on the flavor. Mm. Mm. I love this so much. I'm fucking stoked. Okay, I know you guys are probably grossed out watching me eat, so I will finish this off camera. <laughs> My God, those spring rolls. I'm like freaking out. You know, that's why I like cooking. It's like when I make something and it actually works, I feel so badass. Like I, I genuinely feel like badass. Anyway, I'm trying to figure out what kind of creamer. I've, I've been exploring with new kinds of creamer. Maybe I'll try the sweet cream. All vegan. Not that I'm vegan, but I'm vegetarian, but no milky in there. Maybe add a little bit of caramel in there. I'm experimenting. It's kind of fire. Second copy of the day. I'm gonna try to stop after this one, but Lord knows I will not. I just got groceries delivered. Let's see what I got. Almond milk! Tempeh, tahini. Oh, I got these new spring roll wrappers to try because these ones had really good reviews. Brussels sprout, broccoli, 
broccoli, avocado, more broccoli. That's it. I accidentally always buy things. I have probably 15 jars of peanut butter because every time I'm at the grocery store, I'm like, oh, I'm probably running out of peanut butter. When in reality, I'm never running out of peanut butter, but now I have 40 jars of peanut butter. One, two, three. This is just peanut butter, guys. Five. Okay, that's it, but that's still out of control. So this is the stuff I'm gonna be filming all day, such as my cats eating, me in bed. Uh, that's about it because I am doing the 24 hours in my house challenge. No leaving allowed, can I do it? <coughs> Back to bed for me. This is literally what I look like 90% of the day. Are you ready? I have another interview at 1 p.m. It is noon right now. The problem is I do need to look slightly presentable for this one, but showering's not really in the cards for me. To be honest, I really only shower when I have to. So I'll be here for a while. I have a Zoom interview that's actually kind of important in 10 minutes. And I look like this. So we're gonna figure out how to make me have a 10 minute glow up. Follow me, ladies and gentlemen. This is not gonna be pretty. I also have to pee, but I'm gonna pee off camera because you know what, I'm trying to have some sort of healthy boundary with the camera. I'm thinking a sweater for the top half. Should I wear a turtleneck? Like a little classy red turtleneck? I'm keeping the sweatpants on. Those are staying on. Time to do hair. I farted. Yes, I farted. Everybody fucking relax. My hair is extremely oily. Look at my hair. Oh my God, I look so weird. Okay, that's kind of cute. I'm gonna take the zoom in bed though because I'm just like not in the mood. But this is the, this is the hack to looking like you have your shit together on zoom. Reading glasses. Let me tell you, I need them anyway because I have something called astigmatism which makes my vision kind of a little bit suspicious and sus. Okay, we have these. I just bought these. And then I have these. These are fire. I think I'm gonna wear these. These are a little bit too much. So I think we're actually gonna do these. Now I'm going to give you a POV of what I'm gonna look like on the Zoom. Hi, thank you for interviewing me. Today I'm gonna be talking about being an influencer. I love taking selfies and um, so that's pretty much what I do. Do you guys have any more questions for me for this interview? I feel like I kind of look put together though. Also, I just got these glasses and they are blue light glasses, which means that they protect my eyeballs from the blue from something. So not only will I be reading in style, but my circadian rhythms that are normally damaged by the blue light of my phone and laptop, say goodbye to that. I'm gonna be getting the best sleep of my life soon. Showtime, bitches. Call number two of the day. Is this all I do? I also kind of look like shit, but whatever. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I don't know, what other, oh my God, I look like shit right now. Ew, <gasps> what the fuck? Okay, so no more drums for me because I just looked in, in the, hello? Oh, I thought somebody rung my doorbell. Watch this movie magic. I feel better. Fit check. What the fuck do I do now? Ah! I don't know what to do with my life. I haven't known what to do with it in a long time. And I'm stinky, I smell like shit right now. If you could smell me, you guys would be fucking throwing up in your little mouths. You guys would be fucking puking. I feel like I should just cook something because I'm bored. But I'm not hungry. I don't know what to do! Honestly, we're getting back into bed. <laughs> like, this is where I'm at right now. Oh yeah, I literally love it in here. I love it so much. I'll let you know if something interesting happens. It's been a few hours. I am still in bed, but I had a genius idea. We're doing a tier list. Now you might be like, Emma, what are you tier listing? I took various photos of me from throughout my life and of some things that I have been interested in in the past. And I'm going to rate my phases. I'm gonna rate all of my different phases from obsessed to pain. So first, we're going to rate my cheerleading phase. I'm going to rate this obsessed. I would go back and be a cheerleader any day. If you meet a 50 year old dad that used to be on his high school football team and you ask him about it, that's how I am with cheerleading. Yeah, it was, you know, it was 2014 and we won the competition and the crowd went crazy. That's going there. Next phase, newborn baby phase. I was a fucking cute kid, so I'm gonna say obsessed. Okay, so so far, the tier list is looking a little bit narcissistic, so hopefully something unfortunate comes up soon. Oh, great. 
Middle school Emma. I would consider myself one of the most annoying and unfortunate middle schoolers ever. So I'm gonna put her in ew. Next we have my high school cross country phase. So I decided it would be a good idea to run cross country in high school. As much as I hated this phase, I give myself a point for trying. So I'm gonna put this in eh because I tried. Next, we have my indie music phase. Okay, so this was freshman year of high school. I just started listening to things like, you know, Mac DeMarco and Tame Paula, and I thought that I was a genius. As corny as it is, and as embarrassed as I am of it now, I still am her a little bit. And so I'm gonna put her in eh, because even though she was kind of a poser, she didn't have terrible taste. It's just more the fact that she would take a photo like this in a record store to try to prove to everybody that she had good taste. That's what's embarrassing about it. But because she had good taste deep down, I'm putting it in A. Okay, next phase is my blonde curly hair phase as a child. She is precious. She's precious and she's going into obsessed. I love her so much. I literally spent half of 2020 trying to have blonde hair like her and it didn't work. Okay, so this is my costume phase. So when I was younger, I used to wear costumes every day for like probably two years. This is cute, but because it's a little bit weird, I'm going to put it into she cute because it is a little bit weird. Next we have my awkward freshman in high school phase slash all girls school phase. I looked like a seven year old and that's being generous. I'm gonna put her into you because I think my Catholic all girls school phase was definitely not my peak. Oh my God. This is probably the worst I've ever looked in my life to be brutally honest. I was maybe 13 here and I'm wearing ballet flats with jeans and a hoodie. I mean, things were not going well for me. I'm putting this into pain. This next one was my glam phase. Honestly, she's killing it. So I'm gonna put her in obsessed. Next, we have my Pinterest phase that I went through in high school. This was when I used to try to take photos that were very Pinteresty. I would post like six times a day on Instagram for all of my high school followers to see. I mean, she was kind of a mini influencer, so I'm gonna put her in, she cute. As much as I was annoying everybody by like, you know, trying to post these artsy vacation photos, it, it was a telltale sign of where I was gonna end up. Next, we have my poopy jacket phase. It was so disgusting. It literally had boogers embedded in it because I wore it so much. But I'm actually gonna put her in she cute because my poopy jacket phase was kind of iconic. Next, we have my Fortnite phase. So in the beginning of quarantine, I got really obsessed with Fortnite. I kind of loved this phase. Like I kind of loved the Fortnite phase because I had so much fun. I used to play Fortnite for eight hours a day. I, I like I was having a great time and it really made the first few months of quarantine go by fast. So I'm putting it in obsessed. Actually, no, I don't think I'm obsessed with it. I think I'm gonna put it in she's cute. Oh, next we have my really bad acne phase. So I'm blowing up this photo extra large so you can see. Uh, this was the worst my acne ever got. This was probably two years ago. I basically had terrible acne that would not go away no matter what I would try. This photo is of me in a dermatologist's office crying my eyes out. I'm going to put this in pain because that was not fun. Okay, next we have my plum phase. This was when I was obsessed with plums. I still am obsessed with plums, but there was one summer where it was just like all I cared about. And they're, they, don't get me wrong, they are delicious, but I feel like I'm not as passionate about them as I used to be. I'm gonna put this in she's cute because plums are delicious. It was a little bit weird how obsessed I was with them. It must have been the season of plums that season because they just were fucking amazing. Okay, next we have my sassy middle school phase. My intro to Brandy Melville phase, okay? I'm wearing a shirt that says, too sassy for you. I'm posing like a fucking idiot. So I'm just gonna put it in ew because it's not like painful to see. It, it's very predictable. It's like most people have a phase like that. You know, I'm not proud of her, but I'm also not mad at her. Next we have my phase where I was going on influencer trips a lot. And it was kind of a time to be alive, honestly. It was really fun. I'm gonna put her in eh because it it looked like she was having fun on social media, but deep down, she was kind of empty inside. Okay, next we have my Coachella phase. To be honest, my Coachella phase is never ending. I'm gonna put this in 
she's cute because listen, I still love Coachella. I think that my obsession with it is slightly unhealthy, which is why I'm not putting her in obsessed. Because I'm still kind of in the phase, I have to be nice to myself here and put her in she's cute because my Coachella phase is still going. Okay, next we have my blonde phase, my most recent blonde phase. I was blonde, what, eight months ago? Wait, not eight months ago. Oh, stop! You're gonna knock over my camera. Um, I just went back to brunette a few months ago, but I was blonde for a decent part of 2020. And I'm putting her in obsessed. Next we have my cat phase. This is a photo of me with my cats. Uh, my cat phase is actually current. My cat phase has been going on for probably three years. I'm putting her in obsessed. Getting cats has been the best thing I've ever done and I love them. Even though they're kind of annoying, sometimes I love them so much that my cat phase deserves to go in obsessed. And last but not least, we have my current phase. A little bit emo, short, brown, dying hair. And I mean, you know what? I'll put her in she's cute because I don't, I'm not hating it, even though all of my hair is falling out from all the bleach that's underneath the brown hair. Is that it? Is that all the phases I have? Okay guys, that's all the phases I have. So I just, you know, put together the brief list. I really had fun doing this actually, so if you guys want me to do this again, let me know and I will do it again. Anyway, I've literally just been in bed all day, going downstairs every like 45 minutes to get a snack and then coming back upstairs and laying back down in bed. That's literally it. So I wish I did more stuff, but I don't. And that should be okay. But it's not with me. But I don't have energy to do anything else. And it's really hot in my room right now and I'm sweating my ass off. Don't want to move. Move check! I'm so tired. It's like 7.30. This is about the time of the night these days where I get tired, but I'm hungry. So let's make dinner. No. Okay, I don't know what I'm gonna eat. Oh, I just farted. I'm so tired. This is one of my favorite broccoli recipes. It's so easy. You just take tahini, add it to a bowl, olive oil, lemon, that's probably too much. I'm gonna do some salt, some za'atar, pepper. I think that's all. Mix, taking a dirty knife. I think I'm gonna have a veggie burger for dinner because that sounds delicious. I don't know, no, I don't know if I want a veggie. I don't know, like I'm just, like I'm trying to think about what would take the least effort and I'm struggling. I really did it. I did the 24 hours in my house challenge. I was in bed all day. To be brutally honest, I feel like shit. Did I miss an ingredient somehow? I can't remember, but it definitely needs more tahini. Okay. Yes, I'm messy when I do this. It probably needs more salt. That shit's good. I have absolutely zero ideas for what to make for my main dish. Ooh. Is this confusing to make because I will, not do it. I might order food. I'm having a fucking cooking meltdown because I'm not inspired as a chef. And do you know how important that is? Do I have leftovers? Like I'm so lazy right now. You know what? We're going to make pasta because it's easy. And um, I bought this new kind. I'm a little nervous because if it sucks, I'm gonna be a fucking wreck. So I cook this for how many minutes? Like they're kind of a fun looking noodle. I know that these look weird, but it's because they're made out of edamame beans, which is a great source of protein for us vegetarians. What kind of sauce are we thinking, guys? Let's see what the recipe on the back of the box says for me to do. Oh, this is a weird recipe actually. Cauliflower, green beans, sun-dried tomato. Chive, that's unique. Sesame ginger sauce kind of sounds good. You know what, let's do that. I'm going to add some soy sauce. Also on the back here, it kind of has a sesame ginger sauce, so I'm gonna kind of use that as inspo. Sesame oil, this is like my most used grocery item, to be honest. They say to add lemon juice, but I feel like lime would be better on the back of this, so I'm just gonna add lemon. Oh, fuck. When I say I'm adding a tiny bit of sriracha, I mean tiny, like I'm adding close to none, just because I just want a little kick. Let's see how that tastes. Guys, I'm actually excited. Are we boiling? No. I'm gonna use my old dirty fork from earlier. Also, I'm gonna add sesame seeds on top. Ooh, maybe add some chili flakes. <gasps> I'm so excited. While we wait, let's make me a beverage. Um, the beverage I'm about to make is going to confuse some of you all. Water, well, Ice. Update, I'm out of sparkling water, so my original drink idea is canceled. I was gonna make a sparkling water 
with apple cider vinegar in it because I drink that sometimes because I'm convinced it helps my stomach not hurt as much. That is not proven by absolutely any science, I don't think. It could be, but I don't know. Actually, I do have sparkling water, but it's raspberry lime. That's kind of impressive. Just waiting on my, on my guy here. Things are taking too long. That's the one thing about cooking that's hard. Whatever gets finished first, and then you have to wait like 30 minutes, and then the other thing's done, and then you eat that, and then next thing you know, it's been four hours, and you're still cooking. Thanksgiving for my grandma must be a fucking nightmare, and nobody's giving her credit. Yum. Ugh. So this is my first course while I fucking wait for my stupid water to boil. It's been literally 45 hours. Y'all. We're not boiling yet. I'm getting fucking pissed. Ladies and gentlemen, she's at a rolling boil. Never thought I'd see the day. If this turns out shitty, I'm calling the police. Be yummy for mommy. Okay, and that's the only situation that that should ever be, that sentence should ever be said. All right, I think it's done. It's all floating and shit. That's like usually what a good sign. Time for the fun part. Adding the sauce. This might be a bust, guys. This might be a bust. Gonna add some chili flakes. A lot. Gonna add soy sauce. See, I shouldn't be just like adding it in randomly, but something. Uh, can you tell I'm like hungry and lazy? Like I just have absolutely no precision. Okay, this is not what I thought it was gonna be like, but I'm gonna try it anyway and see if I need to order in. Is it as good as I thought? No. But am I going to eat it? Absolutely. I'm in bed. 24 hours in my house challenge. I think it would have been good for me to go outside at least once, but it was a challenge. I actually do this challenge quite frequently, but today I really made an effort, you know, to not even like step outside. I think I have sauce on my face. Oh no, that's just a rash. Got it. Okay, noted. Those noodles that I ended up making, they, I, I, as I continued to eat them, they got better and better. To be honest, I was hangry and I feel so much more calm and happier now. So thank you guys for coming on that journey with me. Anyway, it's me and Declan here and we wanna just sign off and say sweet dreams. We love you so much. Here's your forehead kiss. Declan, do you wanna give a forehead kiss to your friends? That was a Declan forehead kiss. Anyway, I'll give you one more. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out with me every week. I love you guys so much. Also, big thank you to Crocs for sponsoring this video. You guys are the best. And I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>